So John, uh, competitive football returns to Starks Park on Saturday, the cup tie against Dundee. I'm guessing that you're going to see a team just down from the Premiership as an ideal early season test. Well, it'll certainly be a test, that's for sure. You know, they've got a new manager in place, uh, James McPake, so a lot of change for them as well over this summer. Uh, so I'm sure James will be putting his stamp on uh, his team now. It's his team, Jimmy Nicol coming back to Starts Park as well. Uh, so, I mean, both ourselves and Dundee will both be looking to win, you know, and that's how it should be. Uh, yeah, they've came down from the... You know, the Premiership, you know, they'll be licking their wounds a little bit and they'll be wanting to respond. Uh, and I'm sure they know that they're going to get a tricky game here, you know, because it's up to us to make sure of that, that they don't come down here and, you know, walk away with three easy points and uh, winning a cup, you know, in the League Cup. So, you know, we've got to make it difficult for them and we've got to cause them problems and uh, make them nervous. Uh, and, of course, you know, we've been winning games. We've been winning games, the winning mentality is there. So, it's all good, you know, there was a wee excitement when you go and play your first pre-season friendly. Uh, obviously that was against Dillon Albion, or four games now. Now there's that bit of excitement and anticipation for the start of the competitive football, as you say, the Betfred Cup. Uh, and we start with a good game against Dundee, obviously, at home. So we're hoping we can catch him a little bit cold with a bit of luck, you know. Uh, and hopefully if we can get three points, yeah, it'll be a big ask. We'll need to play exceptionally well, but we've, but we've been playing well. And showing the quality that we've got and it would be nice to get a good start in, in the campaign because uh, we've got two really difficult games to start with in the next away after this so yeah uh, looking forward to it I'm sure there'll be a wee buzz come Saturday you know three o'clock when that whistle goes if the crowd can get right behind us you know I'm sure we're probably going to be up to 900 season tickets by by Saturday with a bit of luck hopefully and uh, I'm expecting Dundee to bring you know, a good crowd down, you know, somewhere, you know, about a thousand or so, maybe Dundee fans, so we're looking at 2,000 plus crowd in the in the stadium, which will give a good atmosphere, uh, so, all good. Yeah, yeah, and, and looking at the pre-season games, um, you selected the opponents in pre-season um, to ideally prepare yourself for the opening fixtures, Hamilton's a good preparation for Dundee. Yeah, most folk would say. Yeah, exactly, yeah, that's what, that was the, the plan when we, we, we got, sorry, uh, I spoke with Brian Rice very early on, even towards the end of last season, and we, uh, we very quickly, you know, put a date together, and we had that game marked down from, you know, say even before the season finished. So yeah, they were a good sort of comparison with Dundee. They were both fighting down the bottom of the table. Obviously, Hamilton had a few more points, and it made them, you know, stayed up uh, without going into the playoffs and that. So it was good from that point of view. Uh, a wee test, and it was a good test against Hamilton. But we know that uh, you know Hamilton may be playing not in exactly their strongest eleven, but Dundee are going to come here with a with their strongest eleven as a competitive game, and so we'll need to be uh, ready and prepared for that. Uh, but you know, if we can catch them a little bit cold early in the season, then you, then you never know. Yeah. And looking at our squad, um, you know, last season before you arrived, admittedly, the squad building was still in progress. Um, how important is it to you that you've got all your key positions and your numbers pretty much up? in time for the first cup game? Yeah, well, I mean, th th that's what it's all about. You know, that's what the job is. That's my, that's my job, you know. As soon as the final whistle goes at, like, whatever time it was, I think it was probably 10 to 6 down in Palmerston, you switch immediately on the next season. And although there was some little bit of groundwork done because they didn't know what league were going to be in, you go into, you go into like, next season mode and you go to try and get your team together as quickly as you can. And we were very fortunate, you know, to go and do that. Within a week, we had the nucleus there. There was one or two positions we had to get, but I knew in my mind where we were. We couldn't have come out and say that, you know. It was all we, I've been sorted for weeks upon weeks upon weeks. You know, I went on holiday like, wow, you know, exactly. Like you should be on holiday, you know. All right, there was a lot of still phone calls going on about, you know, but on the whole, we were we were sorted. So uh, that's the job. You got to get your, you got to, you know, immediately get things going. And uh, you know, been at the job a number of years, you know. So, you, you know, you've got a number of contacts, you've got a number of feelers out, there's agents coming to you all the time. So, you know your budget and you, you get on with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And referring back to crowds, some of you mentioned it, uh, you know, a couple of questions ago there. Uh, in pre-season, it's good to get the challenge of playing against decent teams and playing in front of the supporters. But does it bring a big difference? 
playing in front of maybe a thousand Dundee supporters and fifteen hundred Rovers supporters, rather than no disrespect, forty Cowden and forty Hamilton supporters. Yeah, of course, definitely, without doubt, absolutely without doubt. That's why you know we all want to be playing in the Championship, so you're going to play against the likes of the Dundees. You know, in Dundee United, who are obviously still in the Championship. You know, uh, we've seen what happened in the Derby game here. Uh, against Dunfermline, so playing in Dunfermline, you know, a couple of times here and a couple of times along at, uh, at their place. Uh, so, uh, you know, th th that's why we want to try and get out of this league and have bigger games, have bigger crowds. You've got more money coming in, then you can, you know, the infrastructure can be built up, the club can be built up, and then, you know, you look to kick on from there. So, of course, when there's a bigger atmosphere, the players will always, you know, react to an atmosphere. You know, the players are always generally g'd up when there's a bigger crowd there's a bit more noise in the stadium you know both sets of fans you know chanting and singing going backwards and forwards the excitement of the game the creating the chances you know all these type of things make it that, that buzz that you've got the the love for football mm, yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah. Um, we're all hoping that this question's answer is going to be shorter than it was in your know, last season Injuries. Apart from the three long-term guys, what's our injury picture looking like? We're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, uh, not injured, not injured by any stretch of imagination. But Dave McGurn is, uh, you know, he works in Cardinal College and a lecturer, and he gets school holidays like uh, other people in his kind of industry. Mm -hmm. And Davy went away on holiday on Wednesday, so Davy will miss the first two Betfred Cup ties. So we will only have uh, Ross Munro because we have got three signed goalkeepers. But Robbie Thompson be another one, so we'll be going with Ross Munro and uh, keep our fingers crossed he doesn't get injured. But that's uh, that's us. We'll not have any backup on Saturday. You've got to have a sign. Uh, you've got to be signed mm -hmm. to play in the Betfred Cup, and I can't sign four goalkeepers. It's yeah. Just uh, you know, there's no room for it. So we accept that Davy had a holiday, and we've got all the faith in the world in young Ross. Anyway, he's an excellent goalkeeper. So, uh, but just to put the, everyone in the picture, no injuries. Davy's going to be on holiday and. He's going to miss the two Betfred Cup ties. We'll get on without him. And uh, that's us. Final question, and a little bit like what we did at the end of last season, you know, a little bit away from Starks Park. But um, we we talked about VAR, uh, video assistant referee, um, last season. Having seen the impact it had in the Women's World Cup, are you still keen to see it used across all levels of the men's and the professional game? Well, it would seem as if there's still going to be uh, doubts and questions and, you know, sometimes we go that we say and there's more questions than answers, you know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's not been as conclusive and as certain as, you know, we all kind of thought it was going to be. There's still that element of doubt and very, very fine lines and still subjective to opinion at times, you know. So... Yeah, maybe not straightforward it was going to be, but fortunately enough, we can't afford it in Scotland, so we don't need to worry about it. Fair enough. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Thanks for that, John. Good luck for the weekend. Thank you.